2014 uh, paper 2 uh, question number 15 and we are told the gradient of a curve is given by dy over dx is equals to x squared minus 4x plus 3 the curve passes through the point 1 0 find the equation of the curve now this is the gradient uh, for you to get the gradient we differentiate the function uh, so for us to get the function uh, what we do is we integrate the uh, the gradient function so we integrate this as uh, x squared uh, minus 4x and we have plus 3 uh, we can put the brackets there uh, so when you put the bracket here we have this is uh, our dx so when you integrate that you'll be able to get this is x uh, cubed you add the the, the index by 1 and you divide by the new index so that will be x cubed uh, my, uh, divided by 3 uh, the other one you have uh, 4 uh, we have x squared we add 1 and you divide by uh, the new one which is 2 uh, 3 uh, that is 3 is a constant so we we'll say it is 3 uh, x is to power 0 and then we uh, we add 1 to 0 we get x to uh, uh, power 1 we divide the by 1 then we add the constant hope you remember how we uh, we integrate the uh, uh, function so when you do that uh, then you have this is equals to we can write it as a dot uh, x cubed uh, then we have uh, minus this will be 2x squared and then we have plus 3x uh, then we have plus c so that is a function uh, which we can actually write y is equals to we are told that this function passes through the point 1 0 so we substitute the value of y to 0 and the value of x to 1 so that we get the value of c uh, and that will give us uh, so we put our value here of y is equals to 0 uh, and that uh, x to power uh, 1 to power 3 is the same as 1 so there we get that third uh, we get uh, plus uh, here you get uh, 2 times 1 squared uh, not plus but uh, minus let's correct that so we have uh, that remains 2 because 1 squared is the same as 1 then we have plus 3 uh, then we have plus c uh, so when you add up this you get you'll be able to get this is 0 is equals to uh, add that minus 2 that will give you uh, 1 and 2 that's 1 and 2 that plus 3 that will be minus you'll be able to get uh, this is equals to 1 and a third uh, plus c uh, this implies that uh, our c we take uh, 1 and a third to the other side uh, which is the same as 4 over 3 it becomes minus 4 over 3 so that is the value of c this implies that uh, our function y now that we have found the value of c uh, we get it is a third x uh, cubed uh, then minus uh, 2 x uh, squared and we have uh, plus 3 x uh, then we have obtained our c is minus 4 over 3 so that is a function that is the way you do that question uh, so you'll be able to get uh, it is awarded three marks so what you are being tested here do you know how to that we get when we differentiate a function we get uh, we get the gradient function so if you have the gradient uh, function uh, to the, the reverse of uh, differentiation is integration so that is what will give you the function then you should be able to know uh, where to how to find c given where the function passes should be able to get c just like we have done so that's how you do that question